Well, I've always liked Japanese culture and I also studied the language when I was in school. So I think the idea was that our home should be a quiet space for us to unwind after a long day and I think the Japanese theme, the colour palette really suits that purpose for us. Home. Based on travels to Japan, it's really the zenness of the spaces that you find. For example, that little quiet courtyard or garden that you might find in a temple area. And I think, of course, the other end is how they juxtapose the modern and the historic together. When we bought the flat, it was very odd in the layout. There's a balcony in front, which is very abnormal for any house, as well as an L-shaped kind of uh, living room setup. The previous owner actually boxed up part of the living room to create an additional bedroom for their family. And it makes the whole environment very dim. I think Shoji's screen in itself is a very beautiful piece of artwork because it's a door, right? But it's a door made of paper. So when we thought about using Shoji screens in Singapore, the humidity didn't quite cut it. So we thought about ways for us to come up with the similar look, but without actually using paper. So I think our ID did have a really fantastic idea, which is really to use, you know, colour like wood and strips of wood on top of it. So it actually looks like a Shoji screen without actually being made out of paper. We have a shoji screen door in our bedroom, so it connects to the master bedroom as well as the adjoining bedroom. So we actually took down the wall and replaced it with a sliding partition door, which is a shoji screen look-alike. Once you close it up, from the wardrobe perspective, it's kind of like a very quiet meditative space, which also can double up as an additional area for working. And it gives a very nice backdrop when you appear on Zoom. <laughs> the track for the shoji screen door which is really just on top so the floor is actually kept pristine so we didn't want to damage the floor in the process of building that sliding track because this marble floor is actually something that we really wanted to preserve when we bought the unit. When we moved into this place of our own, we were like, we really want to have the opportunity and the space to be able to host family and friends, you know, for dinner gatherings, birthdays. That was how we decided that hey, we really need a slightly bigger dining table. And the whole concept of having everybody in one place and not kind of like isolated in their own space. So the living room can actually be seated in a way that's connected with the dining table. So it forms a very big, you know, circle for conversations.